Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at configuring SSH key-based authentication in Linux. To get started, launch a terminal on the client machine and run SSH keygen-trsa to generate a new public and private RSA key pair. Then using the cat command, we'll output the public key to the console and copy it to our clipboard. Next, we'll log into the target machine where we want to be able to log in with our SSH key. On the target device, we'll create a .ssh directory in our home folder. Then we'll create an authorized underscore keys file in the .ssh directory and edit it in the nano editor. Create a new line, then paste the contents of your clipboard with the public key. Save your changes and close the editor. Now I'll exit the connection to the target machine and attempt a new SSH connection to test the key-based authentication. This time, I wasn't prompted for a password and the key was used to authenticate me. That was an example of a Linux to Linux setup, but we can take similar steps to set up a Windows to Linux connection. On the Windows client, launch a command prompt as administrator, then run the ssh keygen trsa command. We can use the type command to output the public key to the console. Copy the public key to your clipboard for use in just a moment. Now connect to the target machine using SSH. We'll again create a .ssh directory in the home folder on the target machine, then create a file called authorize underscore keys and edit it in the nano editor. On a new line, paste the contents of your clipboard, then save the changes and close out of the editor. Now I'll exit the connection to the target machine and attempt a new SSH connection to test the key-based authentication. 